felt a little laggy there. Oh, yes, first kill of the day. And guess what? I got nut sacks. We're 350k. Thank you. Alright, this is the last kill of the uh, Kel Fight Queen task. Probably one of the biggest things that I got from the Kel Fight Queen is just like mainly the seats. Secondaries for Herbler. I'm really good on those, anyways, but like, let me check. I got a ton of torso stocked up now, 29, so it's really good. And uh, also increased my magic seed stack for the farming that I talked about. Oh, okay, well. Well, that's good too. Dagonauts, man. I can actually knock out one of the uh, 1k goals, boss goals, right now. So, some of y'all were complaining that I didn't open this master clue. I always get my shit done, so let's check it out. Oh, hello, Shazian Househood. And of course, we gotta show off. Look at me, man. I'm from the hood. Just kidding. Okay, moment of truth. 99% sure. But, yeah, there we go. Only got one more hood left. Gotta join all the gangs, so yeah, Piscularius is next. Alright, this is a pretty good milestone. Right here, as you can see, 500 for Cath KC. Just want to make sure, you know, I don't get too rusty at this boss, so I'm spending a little bit of time every once in a while to come back here. For the eventual, hopefully a blue dragon test, you know, then I'll be here for a while, but halfway to 1000. So on the last episode, I mentioned that the Ballista might be a great last hit weapon switch. For uh, before Farcath, you know, does is like ice phase or even the poison phase, and the idea behind that is just to speed up the Farcath if you do it right, right? And uh, before I used to use the twisted bow for the last switch, but the thing with the twisted bow was that it can hit a 70, but it misses a lot. Its accuracy is pretty low against that boss. The uh, performance, you know, I can just tell right away that the blister was just so much more accurate, and it did around the same damage as well, so. Yeah, I started using the Blista and it's definitely more reliable for a last hit switch weapon than the Twisted Bow, at least for Forecath, for sure. So in these following clips, you just see me using it and it's really good for the last hit or before the special attack. There's tons of people that do it with and tons of people that do it without. Ooh, yo! So from the uh, Dagonaut task that I got yesterday, I uh, picked up cells up a hard clue scroll, pretty nice. Alright, so I forgot how fast Dagonaut tasks actually go. So I breezed through a thousand prime kills like many, many, many kills ago. Man, that was so far back. Look at this. <laughs> All the way to the top of my freaking chat box. But yeah, we did it. Two of the Dagonaut bosses, 1000 KC. Supreme is left. I think I'll be able to get that in the next task of Dagonaut. So that's pretty cool. Oh, Archer's Ring! Oh, yes. <laughs> a nice small drop to the collection here. I was afraid I might not get anything unique this task, but yeah. With one to go, I freaking get myself an Archer's Ring. Alright, that's that's more than good enough, man. Blood Vells? Come on, man. That's not gonna contribute to my goal. So, we can skip that. Oh, wait! I have to unblock some things because... They will be a part of my, you know, 1000 KC goal. So, I'm gonna unblock Hellhounds. I've had to block for a long time, but yeah, I wanna get that 1k server, so I will be unblocking this. And also, I have to unblock Cave Krakens, yeah. I never like them just because they're so boring, but for the 1000 KC goal, I think it'll be rather enjoyable. So, let me just check. Okay, unblock them both. Alright, let's see if I can get the next one. Abyssal Demons! I'll take that actually for the last part. Unsired! Oh my god, yo, it's a great choice, guys, to actually go and do this Abyssal Demon task for the 1k. I don't get to open these often, so here we go. Let's just go for it, man. What do we get? <laughs> An Abyssal Head? Oh man, that's my first one on this account, bro. So on this account, I have killed a little bit over 13,000 Abyssal Demons. I think it's a 1 in 5k drop, so... Yeah, all that time I didn't get it, but I was never looking for the Abyssal Demon head, so it didn't really matter, but it's just nice to get the head though, you know, as a collector's item. And there it is, 1000 Sire KC, man. 
But yeah, that's crazy. Uh, a few days ago, I think I got 1,000 Prime KC. Or it was either that or Supreme. And now I have 1,000 Sarai KC. Nice hit. Oh, that was beautiful. Got Ancestral Bombs today, by the way. Nice, bro. Oh, shit. Elite Clue Scroll. That's probably going to be the quickest forecast session ever. Oh, yeah. Nice. There we go. I forgot. What was this Master Clue from? I think it was from the Elite Clue or something, but... Yeah, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> okay, well. Alright, so I got the Elite Clue, another one of these from 4Cath, so let's check it out. I would have preferred Summer Pies to be honest, but yeah, whatever. I'll take I'll take some of these. Not bad. Oh yes, baby. Yes. Oh my god. It's game over, bro. This is done deal, dude. Oh my goodness. Two specs at Tecton. If it wasn't for Ice Demon, this would have been a banging ass raid, honestly. Holy shit, can I kill this in one envo? Please. I killed it in one envo. That's that's amazing. Got this Elite Clue Mining Amethyst. Pretty dope, so let's check it out, man. Ancient Page 4, basically a full rune set. Holy shit, I might be able to kill all four respiratory systems in one go. Come on, come on. Did I just kill all four respiratory systems in one go? I just did, dude. Crystal Bow, by the way. Can your blowpipe do that? Alright, we got it, though. Oh, I got an Ansari. Oh, yes. That's awesome, man. With 21 kills left. This is a pretty good task so far, man. I managed to get two Ansari's this task. Again, we don't really get these much nowadays, so... Here we go. What do we get? Oh, an Abyssal Dagger. Alright, alright. How much are these nowadays? 5 mil? Still pretty healthy, but yeah. Alright, that's it. End of what possibly could be the last uh, Abyssal Tire Test. I wouldn't say ever, but I'm sure for quite a while. Next thing I would like to get is probably Greater Demons. I would love to revisit Sammy, so let's hope for the best. 165 blue dragons, okay, that works too, I mean, 4 cath is a blue dragon, so that works out pretty well, I guess, what's the drop? Oh, a drop, yes, nice, nice, alright guys, here goes nothing, here goes nothing, man, a dexterous prayer scroll, okay, I'll take that, bro, it's actually been quite a while since I've uh, gotten another prayer scroll, Alright, I'm sorry guys, I gotta meme this, you know, Dex scrolls 70 mil, still looking good. My fastest time I got it with a 100, Oh, rest in peace. My tentacle whip ran out of charges, but it's okay. Doesn't matter, you know, I got my Elder Maul, so. Yeah, see man, you're known for your pet RNG, but not for your... Oh, Elite Clue Scroll. Hmm, okay, okay, that's good. Straight fresh from rates here we go oh my god two pages i haven't gone two pages in a while wow 666k seriously just from the pages though can't believe this i'm getting another runecrafting level so soon i still remember the 85 recently not that long ago but yeah now at 86 so right now, the first uh, few weeks of school is just usually not as crazy, so so I do have a little bit of time to just relax and do some runecrafting. For those of you that are wondering, since I am doing forecast on tasks, not that it makes any real difference, more so about the bonus Slayer XP that you're going to get, so yeah, it's around like 13k an hour with Adam and Darts at my level. What the hell did I just get for a drop? Are you kidding me? Six rune kites? Alright, <laughs> okay. Six. Oh, come on, kill it, please. Yep, boy! It's all about that clutch KO, my dudes. Oh, nice. Uh, hit 600 KC. Alright, wow, 95 left. I've done a lot of forecast already. Come on. Alright, that should be it. Alright, got it. Very nice. Got ourselves a uh, new PB or PR there. Sub 24, nice. 
Alright, so, uh, what's going on with the servers, man? Has it been buggy? Oh my god, seriously? Another elite clue? Oh my goodness, dude. Yo, dude, Forkath is, like, one of the best bosses for elite clues. Absolutely, man. How many elite clues have I gotten in 600 kills? Another elite clue from Forkath. Two in two days, basically. So, let's check it out. Oh. Another elite clue. Oh my god, that's insane. Don't get me wrong, this is pretty damn good for me because, you know, I actually like doing these nowadays. So, um, yeah, keep giving me more of those and I'll keep doing them. Okay, this is another elite clue from 4Cat. Two in the same day. Here we go. Okay, well, we got our Zami page one. That's the bulk of the uh, price there. But unfortunately, the Fairy Ornament Kit is still elusive as fuck. So in today's episode, I made some progress on three of the sections for the progress sheet. So for raids, I got another placeholder deck scroll putting me at 18. Also, I might as well just update the forecast test because I actually got a lot of those. So I'm actually at 15 now. It's insane how many you get from this boss. They made it maybe a bit too common. Uh, as for the skilling side, not the craziest, but I uh, ended up getting another rune crafting level here. Where is that? So that puts me at... 86 and also at 86 I can actually boost for the Karamja Elite Diaries and I'm gonna get around to doing that probably by the next episode that's gonna be nice for uh, Durado because I am going to be doing Slayer anyways quite a bit for the new boss and goal the most important progress made for this episode is the 1000 boss KC goal so for the Dagonal Prime I actually reached over a thousand on the last task so that's actually one of the bosses completed but there is more, so Abyss of Sire is also over a thousand KC now as well. So that's two bosses completed for a thousand KC. That is really good. Cannot wait to make some more progress. So I think about half of the bosses are completed now. So I'm definitely enjoying this goal a lot. So looking forward to more completion towards this goal. So as you know, ever since I incorporated the new 1000 KC goal, content-wise has been a bit different you know a bit of a tlc in content but i really do like that because the next few episodes for sure you know why i am very motivated you'll definitely see a lot more uh, variety of content from uh, older bosses so there's a lot of other bosses that i haven't really reintroduced but eventually you know once i get the slayer tasks and stuff for it we'll see a lot more of that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching today and if you are new to the series, you'd like to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know exactly when the next video will come out. Usually, it's like every five to six days at the moment. But that's gonna be it. I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Take care, guys.